Mad March hit its peak today with South Australians spoiled for choice with major events staged across the city. And while the event today's public holiday is named after, the Adelaide Cup was again a huge success. The hot competition for crowds has prompted renewed talk of shifting it to May. Clouds and showers loomed early, but the sun emerged over Morfittville by late morning, along with a 10,000 strong crowd. I love a bet. Yeah. And drink. have a drink, get dressed up. The whole atmosphere and experience is amazing. A first this year, a pop-up bar function area, a thousand tickets selling out before Cup Day. What we've been trying to do is get those young people coming back to Morfu, experience what we've done. While punters took in the action trackside, fashionistas paraded the catwalk. We have to plan like a few months beforehand. Colour the flavour of the day for men and women. The SAJC says it's pleased with this year's attendance but concedes crowd numbers have been hurt by other events in Adelaide happening at the same time. The club will make a decision on moving the event in the next two months but its long-standing wish of shifting the public holiday with it has never been granted. We could shift it to May, get 6,000 people turn up at the Cup and lose two or $300,000, let alone what would happen to the industry. Across town, jockeys of a different kind, a huge lineup of musical acts took to the stage for the Future Music Festival. Adelaide's the final leg of the nationwide tour. It's an amazing place to finish it up. Everyone's really excited, it's the last show of the tour, the mood's up and happening. We booked our tickets about six months ago. The atmosphere is so good. It's awesome, sitting on the grass in the sun, it's wicked. Lauren Barker, Nine News.